fuck yeah, I didn't know how to do that. Where are you taking me? Show me what you do. Take it. Yo! <laughs> do we go inside of it? Ah, uh, we can't not. Hit three, two, one, let's go! Hello everybody, Mr. Miola here and welcome back to Subnautica. We're starting today's episode from a little bit of a different surrounding. We're currently on a big old adventure on the, the mountain island, the island of mountainness, where uh, we, uh, we've basically been searching these weird caves and weird ruins and some alien stuff going on inside of this thing. We've been exploring it. It's been awesome. Um, and we are going to continue our adventure today. We're actually quite lucky that we didn't head home after yet last episode's adventure because we have uh, we got something big in store. We got something really, really big in store that I had no idea about. And I think you guys are going to love it. I think you guys are going to be really, really excited about this. But no! Okay, that's bad. That didn't give me as much damage as I thought it was going to be. Uh, but we have something big in store. For one, I want to scan that guy. That's not the big thing today. The big thing is we are going to hopefully be entering the big old alien monument that's on this island. Because apparently, and I'm glad that I'm still here for this reason, the purple tablets are going to let us in there. Apparently. I gotta go and check this out, but it's, from what I'm hearing, the purple tablet is all that we need to enter that thing. And if that's the case, then we are laughing. We are, we're, we're in a good position right now. I'm gonna go and drop some of my resources off at the Miomoth though, because we've kind of got a little, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Sky Ray, it's a Sky Ray. Scan him, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh yeah, just in time. It's like a bird. What a weird looking dude. Anyways, that's all I wanted to do. Um, we have ourselves a lot of stuff on us. I want to just go and dump a lot of this away because we don't need it right this second. Unfortunately, we can't get rid of all of it, but hey, that's a good start. Man, I thought we were going to be going underground today, but hell no. We going inside of this facility, this alien facility. I don't know what lies in store for us, but I'm excited because this has been something that we've been wanting to do for quite some time. So there's our thing. Oh, oh, look at that. I can scan the control. Why not? It's kind of like our little side mission to scan everything as we go. But, insert tablet. Why did I think we needed a green one? Bang, purple one. Going straight in, baby. Get in there. Done. <laughs> we could have done. Oh my God, I'm so happy about that. Well, we are, we're going in to the alien, whatever this is. Indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. Okay. Match is found in database, performing structural analysis. Okie dokie then. Can I scan? I'm, I don't know what to like keep equipped. Do I bring a gun with me? Do I bring my knife? Do I use my? I don't know this thing. Do I scan stuff? I think we're just gonna. I think I might just keep my. Ooh, what do we got down there? It looks like it might be an ion cube. Oh, hold on. Spooky music. See, are there aliens in here? Are there creatures that want us dead in here? I don't know. I don't know anything about this. But, uh, it doesn't look like an ion cube. That looks like a hologram. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hello there. Data terminal. Unknown language. Attempting <laughs> Oh, okay. What do we got? Alien data terminal. Discovered island, uh, discovered inside an alien facility. It was not possible to translate any useful information. Damn it! However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically or, ge or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back the mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human so basically you have uh, no information for me all right well let's uh let's continue exploring i think i see an ion cube this looks like a door but i guess not of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Okay. 
We must get to the control room then. That's an ion cube! Why did the thing like lift up? Why did it? Okay. What? Why did it? Okay, I'm just gonna pick it up. Against my better judgment, we have ourselves an ion cube. I thought maybe like it would be like an Indiana Jones trap. As we pick it up, it would kind of like disappear, but. Or not disappear, but it would like trigger something. But it looks like we're all good. No aliens, thankfully. Yet. I don't want to speak too soon. I think we're going this way. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain Here we go. the purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further oh. data required. Okie dokie. Alright, well, we'll find out when we find out. Um, we got Oh, more ion cubes. <gasps> we can use these. We can use these in the big old teleporters. Or the gates. I'm assuming a gate is a teleporter, right? A gate is a gate to something, I would imagine. Hello! Another terminal! Translation. We're gonna work this time or what? What do we got? This data set appears to be construction material. The facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra hard non reactive metal amalgam synthesized from off world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means, which means we ain't breaking through any walls. The schematic indicates that the facility was to be powered by a separate self sustaining power plant. That must be what's underneath the planet. We keep seeing like all of these heat exchange kind of fan things pumping air out of. Keep that one there in mind. The layout. The facility consists of an upper engineering section where the schematic was found and the control room which is accessed via security sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. Wait a second. There's an underwater access to this thing? The control room is the lower section houses the only, houses the only known way to interface with the facility. Alright. Well, that's where we gotta go. We gotta keep on going down. I don't think- I think we're the only one in here. Oh, here we go. Okay, I didn't want to do that! Okay, I did not want to do that! Where are you taking me? Oh my gosh! Okay. It's just an elevator. Oh my god, it's a spooky elevator. That was weird. Okay. Another force field control. But no for- Oh, this is the- Oh ho ho ho! Another force field control. This is- Oh! I must have unpowered all of them. But this is like a moon pool. I don't know if I should be in this water or not. But this is a moon pool. Oh my god, we can drive in from the side of it. What? Yo, we can- we can park- how, Oh god. Oh snap. There's a little- Okay, there's little houses down there. Um, interesting. Interesting. We can park our Cyclops in this thing. This is big enough for a Cyclops, and I'm going to assume that that's the intention. Okie dokie. Well, we got no time to waste. We're going to continue exploring, and then I forgot time. I might go and hit that up. We'll see how we go. But this is insane in my membrane. We're still the only ones here as far as I'm aware. What is that? Is that a stasis rifle? I can scan it. An alien rifle. I want one of those. Can I have it? Can I have it? Can I have it? Can I have it? Strong resemblance to human weaponry, weaponry in form. This device must must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Ah. I wonder if the aliens are like... People. <laughs> I wonder if the aliens like... A similar kind of body forms to us. We got another ion cube! Number three! <laughs> I'm glad we emptied our inventory before coming here. Alright, let's head upstairs. And there's another little walkway down the bottom over there, so hopefully we'll not forget about that. What do we have here? Pick up purple tablet. But what for? I don't know. We got four of them. Oh, we got three. How many we got? We got three plus the one that we used to... I don't know. Shut down the force field, I suppose. And what are you? Another alien device. You got any secrets for me? A doom- Oh god, doomsday device. That doesn't sound friendly. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Woo! Fortunately. My god, that wouldn't be pretty. Alright. Oh, we got another force field here. Oh, nope, that's... Indicate the facility's control room. 
lies beyond this doorway. All right, well, I guess we're going that way. Insert tablet numero two. Get rid of that force field. I'm coming through, baby. Yeah. So this is the control facility? Or something like that? I guess. Okie dokie. Is there anything down there I gotta get? No more ion cubes kind of lying around for me to grab, I guess. All right. This, okay. That's kind of weird. What am I here for? Can I scan you? Nope, but I can... Oh, here we go. <gasps> the energy core. Okay. Sure thing. And I can interact with you. What am I doing exactly? Don't press it! Oh, this might not be good. Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh my god! Okie dokie. What just happened? What just happened? The control panel is broadcasting a message. Oh, <gasps> I can understand their language now. Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. <laughs> what? Wait, what? The planet is under quarantine. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. This is weird. Okay, what do you got for me? Intercepted background data. Okay, blah, blah, blah. disease research facility. Depth 800 meters. Location. Cave system with extensive fossil record. Southwest of uh, enforcement platform. Function. Live specimen study. Oh, they're going to study me. Objective. <laughs> Synthesize. Since synthesis of an, an antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated Kara. Thermal power. Oh, oh, there's a couple of facilities for us to check out. 800 meters deep, 1200 meters deep, and a bunch of other things that we are. Well, the data's corrupted, unfortunately. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effects. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to. Sp oh my god. So basically. There is an outbreak of something on this planet. I'm assuming we're infected. Let me scan myself just to have a look. Ah, oh, we're infected! Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required. Wow. Bacterial strain. Okay, so we're infected with whatever this virus is. Um Seek fluid intake. And we can't leave this planet until we are quarantined. Or nothing can leave this planet until it's quarantined because this facility is built to stop things from entering and leaving it. So basically, we're stuck here until we get quarantined. Shouldn't do that. Um, the only thing is, I don't know how to get quarantined. So that might be a little bit of a dilemma. Either way, we haven't been down this direction just yet. It's another gate. It's another gate. Can I scan it? No. I got ion cubes. Would you like an ion? Oh, over here. Nope. <laughs> I thought maybe I could put an ion cube on there. Um, all right. Do you want an ion cube? I guess not. Why doesn't this gate want an ion cube? I have cubes. Would you like one? I can't even drop it. It won't let me drop it. it won't let me drop anything, actually. Huh. Okie dokie. Well, there's a gate here. I don't know what to do with it. Um, I think we've... Oh, hold on. Oh yeah, that's the alien gun. So we've explored this entire facility. Um, all that's left for us to check out is whatever was underwater. Do I have any beacons on me? Why didn't I bring a beacon? I could have placed a beacon right there and then we could drive our cyclops in here. I also don't have my habitat builder, so I don't know if I can build anything in here. That would be cool if we could do that, but I highly doubt that that would be possible. Um... From here, right? Okay, you know what? We gotta go to the surface. I am gonna go and check out- What direction is that, by the way? North. That's the north side. I am gonna go down and check that out. You can guarantee yourself that. Uh, we just gotta go to the surface, get some water. I'm gonna bring an ion cube over to that gate that we found in the last episode as well. See if that does anything fancy or what. I don't know. I'm assuming it's just gonna open a portal. It's a gate after all. I don't really know. And then there was another one that we found like a while ago, but I can't even remember where that was. So there is another gate somewhere. 
I just have no idea how to locate that, unfortunately. But either way, I'm so glad we got to explore this. I don't know what it means. I don't know what's... I, I, I don't understand. But it's cool either way. Let's jump up to the surface for now. Eat myself some bobo trees and then try and find that, that gateway again. Can I take my purple tablet? I think that's stuck in there for good. All right, well, bobo trees. I need some of you. Where are you at? Where are my bobo trees at, eh? Hey, good to see you again, bobo tree. My friend, you absolute legends. All right, one, two, three, and four. And again, one, two, three. Damn it. And just four. Let's get a few more. Fantastic. All right. So we're at full thirst. We're at full hunger. We're all good, baby. We're going to go and find that cave. I feel like we have to. I feel like... I feel like that's the next step. That's the next thing that we got to find. We can throw an ion cube in there and see what happens. I'm kind of excited, to be honest. I'm really, really excited, actually. I don't know what it holds for us. I don't know what secrets it... Well, answers it's going to deliver for us, but I got to find that gate. So once again, we're roaming through these caves. Through darkness. Um, where hopefully... Hopefully it just leads us in a straight line exactly where I want to go. I think we just follow these lights. Yes, here we are. Okay, that wasn't too hard. I don't know why I'm breaking this, but we'll take... We'll take a little bit of gold. Okay. I have myself an ion cube. Show me what you do. Take it. Yo! <laughs> what does this mean? Do we go inside of it? I don't know. Ah, oh, we can't not. Oh, here we go. In three, two, one. I hope to see you guys on the other side. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna like teleport us somewhere on the other side. Where is it taking me, though? Oh, this is kind of spooky. This is kind of weird. Uh. Okay. Alright. <gasps> this is the other one that we found. We've been here before. Wait, is this the other island? This is the other island. This is the floating island. What? That's it? It takes me over here? But then what do I do once I'm here? I guess it's like a quick way of traveling. We are on the floating island. Oh man, kind of teleport me to my base. That would be lovely if it could. <laughs> but we've explored everything that we got to do on this planet, uh, this this island. I'm pretty sure we got nothing to do here, so I think we're just gonna go back through. Tell me I don't have to go through that whole thing again, right? Okay, nope. All right. Well, oh, oh, I was a lot quicker that time. Nice. All right. Well, we've opened up a portal. That's cool. It's kind of kind of weird, but it is what it is. All right. Well. Um, I think we might be done in this area for now. I think what lies ahead for us now is we're going to go take our Seamoth down to that next, whatever that room is down the bottom there. Or, hmm, you know what? I might do that next episode. I might bring my Cyclops over, dock it inside of that, that massive station, and um, come back and, and explore that extra little area in the next episode only because we've got a lot of stuff on us right now a lot of a lot of items a lot of stories that we got to drop off i could pick up a bunch more stuff in fact mm, wait i wanted to eat those <laughs> i wanted to eat that um i could go and grab a whole bunch more diamonds and gold and whatnot bring that back to base i'm gonna head home drop this stuff off see if we've got any new recipes that we can craft where's my seamoth at Oh, there it is. There's my Meowmoth. And then we're going to come back with the Cyclops. Welcome That's 100% what we're going to do. Oh, check it out. We should bring our prawn suit over here. Lead. Oh, we don't really need lead. 
Lead's good for building, though. This is like a killer place to build a base. I think... I think if we get around to building another base, I think it's going to be out this way. I think it has to be. There's so much out here. So much resources. What I want to do, though, I want to see where is the entrance to that little docking... Oh, yep, here we go. Here it is. So we can go and bring our Cyclops straight in here. Or do we just head down? All right, stuff it. We're going down now. This thing just keeps on going around here. Oh. Oh, what is this? Okay! What the hell? Where did you come from, buddy? Where did you come from? Oh! That scared the crap out of me. Oh, I had a heart attack. Okay. Let me, let me Mia Moth. Take me to my Mia Moth. Get away from me. You know what? Teach you to play those games. You ready for this, mate? You ready for this? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? It's gonna stasis rifle his head off. You think I'm scared of you? Well, you're goddamn right I am. Oh my god, I literally had a heart attack. Oh. Well, he's left us alone for now. All I wanted to do was check out what this thing is. Ooh. This isn't the cave we came out last time. But does this have anything? Can I get inside of it? I think it's just like a big old ball of energy or something. Interesting. Oh, uh, well, we gotta, we gotta check out this facility. Whatever it is. We've gotta go check it out right now. We're right here. What better of a time? Actually, it might just be another cube. That kind of looks like a gate, though. There must be a gate that connects to here or something. Maybe all the other facilities can be connected to this place, like this, this... Oh! <laughs> We're just running into fish. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Alright, well, I'm glad we checked it out now, because it literally is nothing. That is the one I was going to check out, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, okay. So there must be other gates around the world that connect to this place. I think we're just gonna go a little bit deeper and see what we can find that looks like a leviathan. Don't want to go near him because he looks scary. Very, 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 very scary. <laughs> but I think we're safe over here for now. What is this? One second. Let me get my scanner out. We don't need our little flashlight anymore. Nuclear reactor fragment. We've already learned that. I'm 90% sure. We've oh, no, we haven't. That was one of three. Okay, we can learn another two of those then. They must be around this as one right there. I can see that. What's the nuclear reactor for? That's interesting. Wait, hold on. Maybe there wasn't one here. All right, I'm just trying to keep an eye on where that Leviathan is because I don't really want to be running into that. Really don't want to be running into that. I'm just trying, trying to scope out, you know, what's around before I make any rash decisions right now. Maybe we'll just go for it. What have we got to lose? Alrighty. Where's my little... Oh, yep, there he is. Just to our right. I'm gonna ignore him. What is that over there, though? Let's just get down to the surface. I feel like right now... I don't know. I like to hug the surface. Purely because it's one less direction that I've got to look out. <laughs> oh, there's another one over there! <laughs> We're surrounded with reapers! Not reapers. Oh god, he's actually coming really close to me. I think I'm gonna go up. I think I'm heading straight up. I don't like the amount of leviathans out here. I've seen two of them. That's two too many. I'm out. I'm out. We're going. I gotta find the other gateways though. I gotta find whatever gateway that one there leads us to. Does this have another one? No, this doesn't have a gate on it. And neither does that one. But there's got, there must be a way to get ourselves back and forth from somewhere really quickly if that's something we want to do. Oh god! I just hit a fish! 
Oh my god, keep it together! Keep it together! Oh, I hit a fish and I lose my marbles. I'm losing my mind. What is wrong with me? Ah, oh, what do we got down here? More bone sharks. Ooh, what is this? It's a little island down here. It's kind of dark. I don't like this. It's like a bone shark floating island or something. What is the point? Oh, hold on. There's more floating islands under there. Oh, what's that? Bone shark? Just a bone shark. Okay. Oh, what the hell? It's a massive wreckage. Like a huge wreckage. We got any items in those crates? Not that I can see. Okay. Oh, we got to explore it, right? How do I get inside of you? Thankfully, our oxygen... Buddy. I will ruin you. I will ruin you. You want some? I got a station rifle with your name on it! Yeah! You're dead. You're dead. Die, you piece of trash. On your way. On your way, mate. Yeah! Number two. Now I can't see a thing. <laughs> I love the stasis rifle. Best thing I've ever got. Alright, what else we got? Nutrient block. Don't mind if I do. Uh-huh. So whatever this is, it used to be on the surface, it's telling me. That's rather interesting. I don't know if I should be going down into this, but we are. We are. As usual, against our better judgment. There's more land masses down there. I don't really want to go much further down, though. Um, it's getting kind of spooky, you know what I mean? It's a bit of a spooky place. Where even am I? Yeah, here we are. Okay. Um, didn't I just kill you? Alright, I'm gonna avoid him. I wanna get inside of this wreckage. Can I not do that? Is there no way inside? There's gotta be a way. Hey, hold on. Something to scan. Earthen coral tubes. Can I just scan it already? Interesting. I swear there are like talking creatures down here or something. Aha! We found the entrance. The only problem is I'm running out of oxygen. So I'm gonna quickly make a little little swift visit to the surface. If I can get this guy out of here. And then we will come back down. And find out what we can find inside. And yes, I feel really stupid right now because I forgot we can just re-enter our Seamoth to get oxygen back. <laughs> Sometimes I have mental blanks, okay? Sometimes I don't think straight. That was one of those moments. Alright, now we're back. Oh, why don't I turn my light on? It's so dark down here. Okay! Enough of that, please! 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 My heart can't take it! Oh, just let me inside of this thing. Let me just sneak you in here. Who wanted it? Who wants some? Yeah. Yeah. Payback! That's what you get, mate. That's what you get. That's what you get. Yeah! You're done. You're done now. Alright, let's go. No time to waste. Lucky we have our propulsion cannon. If we need it. Alright, med kit. Don't mind if I do. Anything else in here that I can scan? Nope. Okay. Oh, we can just open the door. Ah. Oh, that's nice having to like... Oh, okay. Here we go. Is this uh, repair tool worthy? I think we're going to change our guns up here. Repair tool. Nope. Okay. Repair tool. Check. Uh, what can I get rid of? Propulsion cannon. Probably not going to need that. But I might need my laser cutter. Okay, I'd like to get in there, but it doesn't appear that I can just yet. Let me get my scanner out. Nothing around. Hold on. Something popped up. Prawn suit grappling arm. We've already learned that, I'm 90% sure. Yes, we have. 
Okay, 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 okay. Nothing else in here. Can I laser cut this so we can just... Alright, let's pop this one open as well. What lies on the other side? Mm -hmm. More rooms. Okay. Maybe I can propel these boxes out the way. You know, they might be... They might, ooh, power cell charge. Oh, I've already got that. Okay, laser cutter time. Let's get this bad boy open, shall we? Let's get this thing open! Alright, what lies on the other side? Let's find out. Okay. Nothing too spell. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Little data box to mind if I do. Oh, we've already learnt it though. Data terminal! Uh -huh. RAWN safety instructions appendix A14. Don't climb on or get off equipment while it's moving. Sure thing. Uh, we also just put- Oh! Oh, what? There's prawn suit fragments out here! We've learnt, or we've picked up, um, a propulsion arm for the fra- for the- for the prawn suit. So that's the thing. We can actually use its arm as like a propulsion cannon. That could be exciting. Um, we are gonna have to go back for some oxygen in a second though. It's getting rather low, but I'll try and chop this door open before we do that. We've got to make it all the way through this thing before we... Before we leave. I'm assuming this is just like the equivalent to exploring the Aurora though. It seems that way at least where... It's like the prawn suit spot. Alright, let's go. Alright. Let's get some of that oxygen into us. Aboard, I love Captain. this. I love being able to do this. I, I'm so glad these things have like unlimited oxygen. Great. Now, no time to waste. Back at it. Oh, and you're going to run out of a... <laughs> Lucky I brought a spare battery. Okay. Here we go. Is there anything else in here, by the way? Is there another prawn suit, um, propulsion arm fragment? Not that I can see. Alright, what do we have? Another grappling arm. We're just picking up a bunch of titanium. Alright, let's leave it. We don't need it. We have ourselves another data box. Swim charge fins. What? I want that. How do I get that? I know this is, like, not the ideal time to be looking, but swim charge fins? Creature decoy. Decoy, here we go. Wirelessly recharges your health while you swim? Oh my god. That's game changer right there. That is a game changer right there. Oh man. Alright, what else do we have? What else do we have? Med kit. My inventory is officially a fool. What's that? Power cell charger. Yep, already learnt it. Alright, and we continue. Another door. This thing just keeps on going. This is the best wreckage yet, I reckon. Oh, and we're out. Okay. Was half... Oh, it's another one. I wonder if that's infected. I reckon it might be. I also just spotted this. Stasis rifle. <laughs> no point. All right. We've, uh, we've, we've seen it all. Another drill suit. It's a shame we didn't get the propulsion arm... Though that would have come that that would have that would have been cool to get. Um how do I get out of here now? Gotta find my Mio Moth. It's all the way over there. Alright, Mio Moth. It's time for us to go home. Wherever that is. Seriously. <laughs> Which direction? Oh, straight over there. Alright. I am quite happy to be going home. It's been a big adventure, a big grand old adventure. Um, and I don't like being deep underwater. It kind of scares me. So being back at the surface is a good feeling. In fact, it's not even that far away. It's literally like, wow, we were really close to home after all of that. Awesome. Home sweet home, baby. What did I bring with me, by the way? What do we got here? We got a lot of stuff. All right, purple tablets. Med kits, etc, etc, etc. 
Let's get rid of all of this. We've got to clear up some space in this inventory of ours. Throw a little battery in there. That needs a little bit of charging. Why not? Um, okay, what I wanted to check was... Hold on a second. Which one of the tablets can we actually craft? There was one that we could get. That one there. Purple tablet. Oh, it's just a purple tablet. That we've already got. We've got like a bunch of them. So that's the thing. Awesome. Um, what I also wanted to check though was those charge fins. What do we need to get those again? Fins, polyaniline. I feel like we've got polyaniline. Do I have any polyaniline? Hydrochloric. Polyaniline. Hydrochloric acid. And gold. Deep shrooms and salt. I think we've got some of that. Do I have some of that? Deep shrooms. Deep shroom, deep shroom, deep shroom. A little bit of salt. We can actually get our charge fins right now. And no, I'm not going to waste any time doing that. You know I ain't going to waste no time doing that. Hydrochloric acid on the way. Now, how do I turn it? Oh, we could just use the gold that we picked up on our adventure. As simple as that. Okay. Um, what else did I need? Fins and a wiring kit. So, two pieces of silver. One and two. Give me that wiring kit right away. And this is probably going to be, like, the end of our battery use. We don't need batteries anymore. Because... Wait, hold on a second. Where's my modification station? It's right there, isn't it? We haven't used this since our new base. I've got to take my fins off. Wait, it just wanted me to use normal fins, didn't it? I don't even know how to craft normal fins. Can I use ultra glide fins to craft them? <laughs> how do I craft fins? Two silicon rubber. It's been a while since we've used that stuff. One and two. Okay. So. Let's get ourselves some fins. Fantastic. Let's throw them into here and get ourselves some swim charge fins. Oh, but do they work fast? Are they as fast as the Ultra Glide fins? Oh, we got to check that out real quick. We have to check that out really, really quickly. Okay, so I've got my Ultra Glides on right now. This is roughly how we move. And then we go and switch these up. Oh, much slower. Much slower. And how quickly does it like charge me? Oh, yeah. We just gained, like, 1%. Okay. Well, I think as far as permanents go, I think we're definitely going to use our Ultra Glides. I definitely couldn't go back to swimming around that slowly. It's just way too slow, if you ask me. But um, I like it. It's cool. It's cool. It's just not amazing, that's all. But on that note, guys, we are going to end this episode right here. If you guys did enjoy this one, make sure to go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups, and I'll catch you guys in the next one very, very soon. Bye for now.